2K continues to drop some screenshots. Don't want to forget about these overall ratings. First up, we've got Aaron Baines and Danilo Gallinari. Gallo, who came to the Thunder in that Paul George trade. And John Collins, kind of like an all-purpose big, catching lobs. It's a lot of fun watching him and Trey Young in the pick and roll. And finally, defending NBA champion Kyle Lowry with an 85 overall rating. Let me know what you guys think of that rating in the comment section below. A lot of people were making fun of him and his inability to score in the playoffs. I wonder what he's going to do this year without Kawhi. Mike Wang took to Twitter and felt the need to clarify a few things. First question from Keon. All in all, I hope bigs don't come up the court and spam dribble moves they're not supposed to have. Should be easy pickings, right? Mike says, I haven't seen any bigs have success spamming moves in development. Easy to rip and they fumble the ball a lot more. Well, that's because you haven't had any of us up there to test the game out. You probably should fly out a few cheese balls from the community to see if they can find some exploits before the game drops. Ruby Tony asks, contested layup still falling at an alarming rate? Mike says that layup defense is very different this year. Getting a lot fewer complaints about layups missing that shouldn't and vice versa. When you miss a layup this year, it usually feels deserved. That's good because I saw some sharpshooters and sharp playmakers making contact layups in 2K19. That always bothered me because as a sharp, you should have a healthy fear of going to the rim. Nick Davis, the main event, he asks all kinds of questions. Is there still rhythm dribble or you have to do every move in combo? And do you still choose every different animation? Mike Wang says each flick of the right stick is a single move. No more auto combos. Curry's behind the back wrap is now a standalone move. So you manually do the last year's Curry combo this year by doing the tween right into the behind the back wrap. You pick one size up signature pack. Well, that's how you would do Curry's behind the back move last year anyway. Only I was using Trey Young, but I always did that move manually. I want a better example. MJ says, I didn't see any mention of the shot contest system. Can we confirm that it was at least improved? This answer comes from Chris Manning. Different and improved. Not the same automated feel as last year, plus changes to closeout speeds. He says he sat down with OG, which is Scott O'Gallagher on 2K TV, and asked him about how the team made changes to contesting. He says you'll hear more soon, hopefully. Well, not really hopefully, we'll get a chance to play the game in the demo real soon. Chris Manning also says that fans will notice a difference in floor spacing in NBA 2K20. Now that obviously pertains to the AI, because you know when you play in the JRC, it's going to be utter chaos if you run with randoms. King asked Mike, what about shot contests this year? In the Vegas event, I noticed that I had percentages explaining the coverage rather than heavily contested and etc. Is there anything new about it? Or you guys just replaced the names with percentage? Mike says, we're always trying to improve the logic for shot contests and added more tools to be able to tune different aspects of it for different modes. And being able to see the percentages of a contest rather than generalized text should help gamers understand the system better. You know, that's something that you guys have never actually heard me complain about. I think people that complain about shot contests so much are people that take bad shots. Just stop taking bad shots. Now shot timing while playing in the West Coast servers when I'm East Coast, that's something that I worry about. Ryan Mannion asks, how will speed boosting work this year? Mike Wang says, I'm not a fan of the term speed boosting, but first step launches are now tied to speed with ball rating, not ball handling. There are three tiers of launch animation packs that can play faster or slower based on your rating. Quick first step badge enhances on top of that. Now I'm not a big fan of the phrase speed boosting either because it's always sounded like straight cheese. But now the first step launches are now tied to speed with ball rating, not ball handling. So ball handling and speed with ball have been separated. So is it possible to have a high speed with ball and low ball handling? Because the slashers out there would love that. It's just as, is the shot meter changeable? And Mike Wang says, yes, you can choose whether it's hands, at your feet, or off. The meter fills all the way left to right, similar to 2K17, and the by the hands meter is a little smaller than last year. You can also select your green release effect, quick flash, water splash, or paint splat. I'm gonna definitely try all three, cause that's crazy. Brenton Akers asks, are the green release animations only seen by the player or by everyone? 
Mike Wang says, everyone, no more lying about fake greens. No, Mike, you don't get it. People will always lie about fake greens. Just play 5v5 more. People will call green no matter what. Ron Got Skills says, will TakeOver still have overpowered animations? Mike says, the OP animations have been toned down or removed. I don't know if I like this. I never complained when I seen a post scorer in TakeOver and he would just elbow his way to the rim. Put a defender on him or double team him, make him pass out. I kind of like the way TakeOver was already. The goal is to keep him from getting TakeOver, not toning it down or removing OP animations. That's what kind of made it fun. Young Grandmaster Sensei says, we have no idea if stamina is improved or not compared to 19, or if people who have the badge have way more stamina than 19. Mike Wang says, your ability to chain together combo moves slows down as your energy drops. When it drops too low, you start to fumble the ball. Well, that's just like 2K19. And if you got that handles for days badge, you'll be Gucci. And we're gonna end this with Scott O'Gallagher's overall take on gameplay. He says that today's game is all about changing speeds. The stop and go game is critical. And it was one of the big focus points with the dribble style system this year. You should feel the difference immediately between Conley and Westbrook with first steps, stops, and overall feel on the left stick. And that's probably the biggest overall blanket statement. It sounds like every point guard is going to be different. Like some will have the ability to speed boost and others won't. Some will have acceleration animations as they drive to the rim and some won't. One of my takeaways is that you're going to have to master using that right stick because everything's manual now. But based on so many different dribble styles, it feels like there might be a way for someone in the community to break the system and have the Ultimo build that can do just about anything. As long as 2K finds a way to balance it and you acquire some lockdown defenders on your friend list, I think we'll be fine. Most of this sounds pretty good. I'm excited for it. As always, smack that like button to show your support. Man, turn on notifications for more news. I'll see you in the next one. Mike says, here's one for you. Smaller players can equip Giant Slayer and it will help them score at the rim amongst the trees. Oh, that, is that a joke or is that real? And we don't equip badges, we earn them. Is this how 2K's decided to balance players, allowing them to equip a certain amount of badges or whatever badges they want?